Are you a big fan of Scrabble, but you think it's missing one thing and that one thing is a time limit? Well, if that's the case, then I have the perfect game for you because today we're going to be reviewing Double Bananagrams. Bananagrams is a super fun and simple game where you're just trying to get rid of all of your tiles that get dealt out to you in the beginning of the game. Where do they come from? Well, the bunch, of course. The game starts out with 288 tiles in the bunch and a number of tiles based on the number of players ranging between 11 and 21 is dealt out to each player. They're dealt out face down just like the tiles in the bunch and as soon as somebody says peel anybody at all the players have to race to turn over their tiles. Right here I only have four but that's what I'm going to use to demonstrate just to show you guys kind of the idea. What do you do with these tiles once they're flipped over? You have to start making your word grid. Here we're only going to make one word, but say you make a word and you use up your last tile. What do you have to do from there? You have to shout peel and everybody has to reach in and grab another tile from the bunch and you have to figure out how to use it now that you have that new letter. So I got to see with my next letter. I wonder what I'm going to do. Words can only be read vertically from top to bottom or horizontally from left to right but you can rearrange the letters once they're on the board so say you have this C I don't know how to work this in because it doesn't kind of fit in there there's no way I can use those letters at least that I can think of off the top of my head you can always put this back in the pile and if you do that you have to shout dump by shouting dump, you put that one back and you can you have to draw three tiles. So here we got more letters. Here we got, what's this? How does this work? Ooh, wait, I, isn't this a, this is a thing right here. So now we got moat, moat, like a moat of dust. I think that's a word, but now we used our last tile again. So you have to say peel. And all the players have to go grab another item here, another tile. So what you're going to keep going through is the same process over and over again. You're going to be expanding your word grid, rearranging, moving it around, and making those words. It always has to make sense, no matter how you rearrange it. Shouting peel and all of the other players are going to have to keep taking tiles. Once you get down to less tiles in the peel than there are players and you've used your last tile that means you have started the victory condition just shout bananas and all the other players will look through your word grid making sure that it follows the rules for the words you're allowed to use in the game so things like misspelled words proper nouns abbreviations are not allowed to be used if that happens Everybody shouts rotten banana and that player's out of the game. Your word grid gets flipped back over and put back into the bunch and the game continues until there actually is a true winner. Now that you know how to play the game, I'll meet you back up top and I'll give you my final thoughts. So in the mechanics section, I did keep referring to this as bananagrams, but it is double bananagrams because it's double the fun. It has 144 extra tiles, so it brings it up to 288. Normally it would be half that many, but... I definitely would go with the double version. I love the double version. It has so many tiles. It lasts a good amount of time, which is great. And it's just a fun game. You can play it with all ages. People who are wordsmiths and not wordsmiths. People who are fans of Scrabble and not fans of Scrabble. I like the fact that it's more in the moment competitive than Scrabble. Because, you know, Scrabble, you lay down a, a word and you got to wait for somebody else to lay down a word. But in this, you're like, there's a ticking clock and you're kind of trying to beat everybody else which is really cool you have to remember the things you have to say i like the fact that you can move your tiles around after they've been laid down which is really cool to make new words because if you had to just draw one tile at a time and possibly trade in the three tiles but if the if you were doing one tile at a time and you couldn't rearrange your letters you, you would be constantly building up tiles to try and make them fit into the thing the fact that you can move everything around is really nice it it's a hectic game, but it's really fun. And you're like, oh, I just need one more letter. Or, oh, is that actually a word? Is that how you spell it? Like, there's just a lot to it that makes it really high energy and fun. And we've had several occasions where that first person that shouts that they're done and you check it over and there's something that's either a proper noun or it's misspelled or something like that. That's a lot of fun because then everybody's like, ah, oh, you're out. And then they got to scramble to put everything gets back in. You got to keep the game going. 
I, I absolutely love that because as soon as somebody shouts that they're done, it's not like it's automatic. We've had a fair amount of times where that person's made a mistake and something's misspelled or something is a word that's not acceptable or it's not a word at all. That's that's funny when they make a word and it's like, oh, that's a word. It's a, no, it's not actually a word. Let's look it up. <laughs> but it, it's a fun game like that. The tiles are nice quality. I like the fact that instead of a box, it has this like banana package thing. And here you can hear the sound of the banana package. I like the banana package. It It's not the most shelf conducive package because it's not like square or anything like that. But if you have a bunch of games and there's a little open space, this will kind of fit into that little open space between games that are different sizes. And you know, there, there's something that can be said about that. I definitely would recommend this game. It's kind of like a, it's like a 4.5 out of five for me. I don't usually do uh, a lot of those scores anymore, but definitely go pick up some double banana grab. You'll definitely love it. If you like what you've seen here on the channel today, subscribe to the channel so you can catch everything that's coming out in the future. We're going to have a ton of gaming reviews going forward and a ton of other content. Hit that like button. Make sure that it's blue. We love to see it blue. Leave a comment down below. Are you a big Scrabble fan? Do you have double bananagrams? Do you have anything else that's similar to this? There's, and there's other word games out there. Hit that notification bell so you know what's up, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Hey. Hey. Are you listening? Hey, this is Billy West. I knew you'd recognize my voice, but sometimes you can't because you're watching King's Entertainment Reviews. Now, I would love it being the professor if you'd comment, like, and subscribe. You hear that? He knows what he's talking about because he's a smart old bastard. Yeah. All right. Now, get with it.